my sweater. I added blood stain for effect, even though it wasn't really there. But you see, when you add details, how you can really see that in your mind, you know, a huge cat jumping on somebody, it makes it more funny and interesting and also more descriptive. So details are really important. Let's practice adding details to some of these sentences. The tiger yawned. How can we add details to the tiger yawned? The tiger yawned. Yes, super loudly. The tiger yawned super loudly. Good point. What else do we have? Yo, sorry. Okay, go ahead. Answer that one. The tiger yawned super quietly. The tiger yawned super quietly. Okay, so we could have loudly or quietly. Either one is fine. What about the tiger? How could we describe the tiger? How could we describe the tiger? Yes. The orange striped tiger. The orange striped tiger. Very nice. Orange striped tiger. What else could we add details to? Yes. The fierce tiger. Very good. The fierce orange striped tiger. Okay. The fierce orange striped tiger yawns super loudly, or the fierce orange striped tiger yawns super quietly. Either one works, very fine. Right? Okay, so maybe we could add something else about the, um, the yawn or the tiger. Is there one more detail we could add? Okay, yes. To the tiger, add that it was a sleepy tiger. Okay, to the tiger, you could add that it was a sleepy tiger. Yes, very good. That would explain the yawn, I think. The fierce, orange-striped, sleepy tiger yawns super loudly or yawns super quietly. Very nice. So we have come up with a pretty good sentence, I think, with adding details. And you know, you could go on and on and on with the details. You could add all kinds of adjectives here, but I think that we did it pretty nice and just with this. Let's try another one. My sister yelled at me. My sister yelled at me. You've had that happen before. 